Hi, my name is Dwayne Crawford and I'm the Fiber Product Line Manager at Belden. In this video, we're going to talk about installing the 900 micron fiber into the Brilliance Universal Connector. For this next part of the installation, we're actually going to put the fiber into the connector. So for this, I'm going to need my installation handle with the connector we installed before, making sure that that activator tab is open. So to start off this process, what you're going to notice is that there's a little groove on the top of the installation handle. This little groove is to set the fiber in. So once you have the fiber set in that groove, all you would do is simply move your thumb back and forth and you can actually advance the fiber. We want to make sure that this is how we're handling the fiber and we're not trying to hold the fiber too close to the connector as it may result in breaking the fiber inside the connector. Now, the other thing we have to be careful with is once we've cleaved the fiber, that end face is very clean. If we bump it up against something, we may contaminate it, which will cause problems during our installation. If we do happen to bump it, we can't cle clean the uh, end face of the cleave. We have to re-cleave to get the, the end face clean again. So, now that I have my fiber in my handle, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to guide the fiber with my finger below into the opening in the back of the connector and I'm going to use my thumb on the handle to slide it forwards. I'm going to keep an eye on that pen mark we made earlier and I, I want to get it up to and aligned with the back edge of the connector. That pen mark should line up with the back of the connector. It shouldn't go deep in the connector and it shouldn't stay outside. If you find that you're getting hung up and you feel the fiber is bumping into something uh, as you're installing it, what you may want to do is just pull the fiber back a couple millimeters and give it a 10, 20 degree twist and try to go back in again. And it'll typically slide back in. Now, once that pen mark is aligned with the back of the connector, you can actually feel the fiber hitting the fiber stub inside the connector. And those are the two pieces of glass we need to touch each other. From there, we simply slide our thumb forward a little bit to create a little bow in the fiber. This little bow that you can see in the fiber is what's keeping the pressure correct inside the connector before we close the activator switch. To close the activator switch, we can simply remove the stylus from the back of the installation handle. And I can use that to flick the switch to close the activator and lock the fiber into place. Now, it's very important to note that before I close the activator, any light that might be coming out of the VFL tab doesn't tell us anything. The only time that the light is meaningful inside the activator window is after we close the tab. So now that we've closed our tab, we can actually turn on our VFL Make sure our light is green. If our light is red, as it shows here, that might be an indicator that we need to change our batteries. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a version. There it goes, back to green. I'm good to go. And I'm going to check how much light is coming out of this window. So for multi-mode, there should be no light coming out of this window. That tells us we've had a successful termination. For single mode, we may get a little bit of residual light, a very, very little amount of light. And that is okay for single mode. We still have a successful termination. From that point, what we can do is simply slide our boot up and on the connector. And from there, we can now remove the connector from the handle. And that's how we install a 900 micron fiber into a Brilliance Universal connector. Be sure to check out our other videos for more information on installing fiber products.